This is Drew with Boomer Music Company, your band and orchestra experts since 1976, and the podcastingstore.com, the one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. This is your weekend update. Well, greetings and welcome to your weekend update. It has been quite the week at the store. We are literally up to our eyeballs in instrument returns. So uh, we're playing one very massive game of Jenga, kind of getting instruments over into one pile here and that pile there, getting the returns process, trying to get instruments cleaned and serviced and ready to go back out again. Because uh, as I've mentioned before, we've got summer music going on, but then we've got to get ready for the fall. And then we're trying to balance customer work in with all of that as well. And that's a topic I actually touched upon this week on my view from the road video um, where I explored all of this really in depth and again I'm still running out to the schools because uh, we got all kinds of stuff going on for the summer uh, but we need to prioritize our repairs and do things in the correct order because there's a very specific timing to all of this and uh, if we miss certain things we miss them for good and uh, so check out the clip from that video that uh, kind of explores this a little more in depth. If you've been coming in the shop looking for some repairs right now, I know that we've been kind of pushing people off for a few weeks, if not a couple months. And that's because right now, as I've mentioned before on these videos, we're getting uh, school repairs done before the end of the school fiscal year, which is in just a couple weeks. Then we need to get all the rental stock ready. We've done some getting ready for summer music, but then as we head into the fall, we need to do so much more. So we need to get those instruments um, you know, in shape, just like I was describing, you know, cleaned up, fixed up, ready to rent out again uh, for the fall because you know as far as you know the business side of things go give you a little peek behind the curtain if we miss out on renting an instrument in the fall it potentially sits on our shelf for an entire year and that's no good it doesn't help out anybody so just to continue to dissuade everyone of the notion that just because school's out doesn't mean that we're less busy, we're actually much more so. And that's a great thing. I mean, I'd rather have all of this stuff stacked up versus what we dealt with last year when we just had trouble getting product in in the first place. So sitting on inventory is a good thing, but we still have to do right by it and by all of you by uh, getting everything back in shape. So thank you for your patience as uh, we continue to, uh, to kind of manage those challenges. Then over on the Drums West side of things, this week, Peter did a really cool video exploring the cajon and the main theme on a cajon if you're not familiar with this instrument it's uh, a box and uh, it's got snares inside of it and it creates different tones depending on how you play it and what it really allows you to do is to do so much more with so much less rather than carrying a, a whole drum kit with all of the cymbals and hardware and all of that you've just got this box that you sit on and the the technique is what it all comes down to and peter also shared in the video a a little secret for uh, what he does and uh, why you might want to loosen or even remove a couple screws in the cajon i'm not going to spill the secret here you're going to have to watch that video and follow the qr code and you'll see um but in the clip from that that video that I am going to show you, he kind of talks a little bit about the technique and how you can generate some different tones. So check that out for kind of your primer on the cajon. You have your bass tone, um, your like your open tone, and then your slap. Um, I can I kind of incorporate a little bit of like a conga kind of technique too with a clove slap, um, a little bit of heel toe. I actually also incorporate a little bit of a tabla technique when I do rolls. Uh, you can bend the pitch with your heel um, coming up. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, so if you're a percussionist and you're really looking to, like I said, do more with less and you haven't explored a cajon, do that. I, I urge you to do that. It's amazing the things that you can do with some proper technique. Then over on the podcasting store uh, YouTube channel, I did a video um, that was kind of by request and something that I'd really been wanting to do, which was how do you connect the Zoom F3 field recorder into an iPhone? And when I first got the F3, I had a whole laundry list of things I wanted to do, and I tried that out and it didn't work. Well, I set out to make it work. I don't know if you if you all ever watched Mythbusters, when they busted a myth, they tried to figure out what would you have to do to actually make the myth work. And so I did it this case with the uh, F3 into the iPhone. and it's never as straightforward as it seems trying to connect these kinds of things. The The circuitry does weird stuff depending on what your inputs and your outputs are. Um, and I'm still exploring additional ways of doing this, but I did find a way that worked. And again, I'm not gonna spill the beans on this. You're gonna have to watch the video, the QR code's right there. Um, but 
here's just kind of a clip from the video that explains why these things aren't nearly as straightforward as you would like them to be and what the challenges are that we face when we're trying to integrate different technology from different manufacturers uh, into something seamless that we can use. So check that out. To lightning and then it's got circuitry in here that translates that signal. Now TRS is tip ring sleeve. We have a video uh, up on the channel that explains all of that. And so what that is, is it's left, right, and ground, and that's it. The problem that we run into with these interfaces and these um, receivers is it is a TRS signal going into a smartphone that's expecting a TRRS. What's the additional one? Well, that would be the microphone. So it's trying to do left channel, right channel, ground, and microphone. And you need to be able to translate that signal to go into it. So I thought, the zoom has a line out. That is an analog thing, so let's give it a try. So we come over here. So if you're having struggles with this kind of stuff, you know, hit me up. I've been you know diving into it really in depth the last couple of years and exploring these topics of how to hook this stuff in together. So um, happy to help out. And if you've got additional ideas for things that you'd like to see over on the podcasting store uh, YouTube channel, let me know. I'm happy to do that stuff. Then this week's essay on the podcasting store's Medium page um, was all about uh, back in high school and track practice one day, we uh, had the, uh, the grudge match uh, settling, you know, who's the better runners, uh, sprinters or distance runners. And the outcome of the race was unexpected, but there was a great lesson to learn from that, which was try new things. Because um, uh, I'm not going to spoil the plot of that one, but what it comes down to is the outcome of the race was unexpected and the runner who ended up winning the race went on to be an all-state caliber athlete at a distance that he had never even attempted before. Um, how does this translate to what we do as musicians? Try something different. If you know, you've got an instrument you've ever wanted to do or a group you've ever wanted to play with, give it a try. You never know where the aptitude is going to be and uh, it could just become something truly glorious. So try new things. Don't be afraid to fail because uh, you just never know what the outcome is going to be. So that is your weekend update. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, check out some of the other videos in the channel, and we will catch up with you next time. If you enjoyed the weekend update, do me a favor and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, or visit our websites. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company and thepodcastingstore.com. Thanks for listening.